Hey guys, and welcome back to the Banhammer. So today, I made a Fortnite crossbow. Well, I finished it. Over the course of the past week, I've been working on making this crossbow work. So the other day, I was texting with my friends because we made a new channel called DLG. Go subscribe. And um, I was like, yeah, so there's supposedly going to be a new update coming up soon for Valentine's Day. And this, supposedly, the crossbow will be coming back. And then one of them said, you know, Cam, you should make the crossbow in real life. Like how I did with the flare gun and stuff like that. And then I said, I have an even better idea. What if I made it so the crossbow actually works? So that's when I got to work. I had blueprints set up everywhere. I got to work on how it should work, if I should have as a pulley system, if I had should have weights on it. And that's when it started. So the first thing I had to do was I made this first part right here. You can see all of this right here is one. It's just multiple pieces of cardboard put together. But it's the base. And so this is five cardboard pieces together that I just glued and painted afterwards. So at first I was thinking of a weight system. Like I have a weight right here. And I have the um, trigger here. And there's something connecting them. And so uh, the weight will keep it back. And then when I want to, I can just go like that. But then I got thinking, what happens if the cardboard, because I was going to use cardboard to hold it together, what if that breaks? Because the weight is one and one quarter pounds, which does not seem like a lot, but for a piece of cardboard, it can be a lot. And so that's when I got thinking, what if I had the trigger and the peg, which I'm using as a pencil, on an axis. So if you do not know, an axis is like a car. You have the wheel that spins and in between and in the middle of it, you have a hole. And then there's this rod that goes in, which holds it together and lets it spin. And so I wanted this type of thing, but I didn't want it to spin all the way. And so that's when I thought of screws, which would penetrate this and make it snap in half. And then I thought, what if I just hold it in. What if I just have something hold it in that will be tight enough to keep it like that. And so that's when I got this rubber band. So this rubber band is a very strong rubber band and you can see where I taped it right here. But if you look at it from afar you don't really see it that much. And so that's when um, I cut that's when I put the pencil in. I cut two holes. I cut holes right, right here, one right there um, through the cardboard and then I stuck it in and taped it together. I was going to glue it, but the rubber band was so stiff that it wouldn't stay down. So I was just like, okay, I'm just going to go keep it like this. And so that's pretty much the main part. Obviously, I painted it. I painted it a wrap theme, um, a Valentine's Day wrap theme from a year ago. It was really cool one. When you search up Fortnite Crossbow, it's what comes up. And so I was like, I think I should go with this one. And besides, I just got a new paint set. And so I was like, I kind of want to use the paints. I want to see how they look. And that's when I came up with this. So um, you might see this right here, but we can move on to that later. Now, real quick, this is what I call pegs. This is a peg, this is a peg, and this is what this is a peg. They're just the things that hold the rubber band back, because this you do put there. So then I had to work on this part. This is the part that holds these two pegs. But I was thinking originally I should cut holes in here because you're supposed to hollow this part out, like just in the center. But this is already so weak, that's why I had to put pencils in the middle to keep it out. And so I thought I shouldn't do that because that would just probably make the rubber band or the cardboard snap. And so I decided to just keep it like this. Um... So I taped it over here. You can see a lot of tape. I have used clear tape in the past, but that tape isn't as strong as this tape. We recently got this one. And so I was like, I should just use this. Also, it's not centered because um, of the bending. This one right here bends a lot. And this one doesn't as much. And so I connected these two pieces because this is the main base and this is just the ex extra on the side. And I tape the pencils to it. Then I took my rubber band that I have 
and I put and I uh, put two knots on this side and on this side to connect it. Then I put some tape above it and below it to keep it from sliding. Then I started working on this because I first tried it out and it kept sliding off because these two weren't here. And so obviously it would slide from one side to the other. And so I was like, okay, I already painted this, so I can't really paint it again. So I wanted to get a thin piece of cardboard because I didn't really need a thick one. And then from there, I was like, this works way better. So now the arrow is what I have to show you next. This is my version of Cupid's arrow. So I haven't really painted at all, but uh, I have put tape on it because I have two pieces of cardboard stuck together and they kept coming apart. So pretty much Cupid's arrow has a heart right here and that's the tip of it. If you search up um, Fortnite Crossbow, this is the arrow that comes up. And now the part that you guys have probably been waiting for this whole time is me actually shooting it. So first what I do is I put this in here. I slide it back to touch the pencil. And then I hold, bring this back, finger here, back. So it's way easier with two hands, but I'm gonna try it with one hand. So it goes, it goes a good few feet, but sometimes what I do is I will put it in and then I snap it that way because it gives it more force because this has more pressure. And when it has more pressure, it wants to go to the um, place that has the least amount of pressure in, which would be this place, which is why this is coming in this way and that is coming in this way. And so I would do that, but then after a few times of doing it, the pencil started pulling in a lot and these cardboards actually started bending. And so I couldn't really do that. But um, I think overall it's really nice. Works pretty well. Um, I'm going to be doing another one soon. I think I'm going to be doing a scar. And so I don't know if I'm going to make it shoot. I could. Don't know that. But um, thanks so much for watching. Like and subscribe. Bye.